everyone, welcome back! Today, I got this beautiful creation from my garden. But what's this? Oh no, I got a little damage. What happened? The gopher. So now my pumpkin's got a booty. So today, I'm going to be carving on the rough side of the pumpkin. And I think that little extra texture is going to be perfect. All right, today I'm going to be using a couple of different things. I'm going to be using a drill. I have the container from my seeds, some yarn, a washable marker, exacto blade, and sharp knives and cutty things. And of course, a bowl to put everything in. Start by cutting the top off my pumpkin, putting a wedge at the back, all the way around. Mmm, guts. Innards! Pumpkin seeds form in clusters. Put a cluster between your fingers and simply pull off a handful of seeds at a time. This one's big enough, I can use the giant scoop I bought. Now where there was damage to my pumpkin, it's a little bit rotten on the inside. Seems to be the season for rotten pumpkins. Doodle on your face, and cut it out. I'm not adding a lot of detail to the holes because we're going to add all the detail with yarn. So I drilled two holes, picked out the yarn I was going to use, threaded a needle, the end of the string I tied a big knot with another piece of fabric so it wouldn't pull through. And then I threaded it through the other side and decided I liked how that looked. And then tried to drill more holes and immediately got the drill stuck. So, drill your holes before you thread it. And take a small drill bit and your drill and drill all the way around. There we go. Get yourself a length of twine or ribbon or yarn, whatever you're using, and a fat needle, and start threading your pumpkin. This could take a while, so turn on some videos to watch. Don't be afraid to crisscross them or use the same hole multiple times. Once you're done with the mouth, do one eye and then the other. I would not recommend using an actual candle for this pumpkin for obvious reasons. Use one of those little electric tea lights and I had the perfect amount of yarn. And there we go!
<laughs> I love how he turned out. <gasps> He's gorgeous. Stitching took me about 20 to 25 minutes. Um, so I think it was worth the effort. I'm really glad I actually used the, the butt side of the pumpkin because it just adds so much texture to his face. Like he really reminds me of a scarecrow. Oh, he's so cute, I love him. <gasps> he's going on this deck with the other guys. I think if I had to do this again, I would count maybe the holes it. Okay. I seem to have a nosebleed. So I'm gonna go take care of that and don't play with knife kids. Bye! <laughs>